All right, and we are live on Facebook. Welcome everybody, Seminole State family. This is Nicole with the library and we are doing a quick chat today to find out about the social sciences video contest. Um, joining me today are professors Rebecca Padilla. We also have Doreen Collins and Modupe Soremi. Welcome ladies and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having, for having us. us. Yeah. Wow. All right. So we have been talking about the social sciences video oh. contest on social media, um, including the college's main social media pages. And uh, what? how did this all get started? There's so much information out there. How, where did this come from? Well, I'll, I'll take that, Nicole. Um, w wonderfully, under the um, direction of Dr. Lorenz, uh, a joint action committee was formed this summer, and it was in response uh, to the murder of George Floyd and the outrage that, um, to use Dr. Lorenz's words, the national outrage over races, racism, injustice, and the inhumanity faced by African-American students, uh, African-American citizens. And so um, because, you know, all of Seminole State College is committed to helping students, the social science department thought, we were sort of uniquely um, you know, tasked with addressing this ourselves because you know, the social science department is made up of economic psychology, sociology, political science, education, and you know, racism and injustice affects all of these disciplines. So we got together as a department and said, how can we you know, address this and you know, create awareness for students um, and I'll let Madupe and Rebecca speak about our social science hour and the uh, video contest for students. Yes, because um, it's my understanding we still have um, the due date for submissions is on Monday. And so students do still have time to submit. And um, there is that social science happy hour. So even if they don't participate this time around, there will be the happy hour event on November 13th. And also we're doing it again in the spring. Isn't that right? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I'm going to talk about the social science hour and I'll have um, Professor Rebecca speak to the video contest. So the social science hour is coming up in November. It's a Friday the 13th. So um, there's going to be a lot of excitement. We have speakers coming. And that is when we will actually announce the winner of the video contest. It's been exciting for our department and it's been exciting for the college. We invite all students, faculty, staff, and everyone that um, um, you know, invite other people to come with you. So thank you so much for, for the time. Um, Rebecca, yeah, sure. Uh, thank you again, Nicole, for having us to this live event. Really appreciate the support. Um, so as Nicole mentioned, the due date for the video contest is November 2nd, 1159 um, p.m. So keep the deadline in your mind. So there's plenty of time to, to get a video in still. Um, I know that Nicole mentioned she's going to share a link to our social science page. So be on the lookout for that so you can find out all the information on the contest. I just wanna cover a couple things really quickly with you guys. Um, there will be winners. So we're gonna have three winners. The first winner can receive $313.14, which will cover one course at Seminole State. The second place winner is gonna get $150, so that's a half a course. And then the third winner is gonna get $50. So there are some prizes to be won here as well. That's pretty exciting. I would like to just take the time, and I may, may seem redundant, but I do wanna take the time to just read what the video contest is. And I'm hope that if I, if I read it, it's gonna really spark interest in you guys wanting to get involved in participating. I know that in my classes, I asked my students at the beginning of class a series of icebreaker questions. And one of those questions is, you know, if you had all the money in the world and you can do anything in the world with your life, what would you do? And so many students said, I would want to fight on the forefront of any racial injustice. So I know this is a topic that students at Seminole State are interested in. And here is your chance to really have your voice heard through a video. Like you can do something. You can promote, a, um, you can promote racial equality through a video. So I just want to read it to you. And again, this is on our website, but I'm trying to read it to get you guys to want to go out and do it. So the video contest prompt is, in this era of racial and, eth and ethnic divide, how do we bridge the gap? 
It may seem overwhelming or even impossible to bridge what divides us. Today, narratives of us versus them are commonplace, but this serves only to perpetuate notions of racial otherness. Create a video with a friend or acquaintance showing a candid conversation around such issues. Be sure to share different cultural perspectives and views on race and ethnicity. The goal is to break down barriers and open us up to see one another in a different light and to develop deeper understandings of complex issues, build rich relationships, create a more inclusive culture and inspire collective action and engagement. So that's what the contest prompt is all about. And I think it's a great opportunity for you to sit down with a friend, a family member, an acquaintance, someone that you just really want to talk to about these really complex, complex issues and engage in a conversation that you can actually put into a video contest that, you know, has a chance to really make a difference here at Seminole State. Because if you win, you know, your video is going to be shown through the college and at our social science hour, and it may actually impact people's lives. So um, we're really hoping you guys get out there and uh, participate in our event. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be uh, a very long video. It doesn't have to be a, you know, expertly edited Netflix documentary. It It's actually the requirement is between three to five minutes, right? Right, that's correct. Okay, so it can be something casual. I mean, there's so many ideas. It doesn't have to be one particular format. Um, the, all the details, and we are, uh, like uh, Professor Padilla said, uh, we're gonna post a link to the website and also to a guide that will show you um, more information if you need help uh, with like the research side of it. If you wanna know where to look for some information to back up whatever video you're going to do, um, we'll provide those links underneath this video and our, on our Facebook um, so people can find that there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, what are, I mean, so far um, with any entries like what are you so excited about like the any response that you've uh, heard back from students or questions that you've gotten about the contest what has all of you most excited to see uh, for the happy hour event where the winners are announced what are you most excited about for this event um. Well, I'm, I'm looking to see if my colleagues are going to say anything. I'll be honest, I, I have not watched any of the videos yet from the um, contestants from our students, but I've talked about the, the prompt with my current students. Um, and what many of us have shared is that these are times that, you know, we're all having difficult conversations with people. And if you're not talking about racial injustice today in our, in our country, if you're not that isn't a topic that's coming up with friends and family like where, where are you living what's going on right and you know this summer um madupe and i participated in a number of events that the college put on and i remember one of the speakers a statement was i'm paraphrasing here but something like you know if you're if you're having a real conversation about race and um and injustice and you're not uncomfortable you're not having an authentic conversation about racial injustice, right? So these are conversations that we know are difficult to have, but they're so important if we want to move forward. And um, so I'm looking forward to seeing hopefully some authentic, you know, difficult conversations because that's how we change and grow um, and, and, you know, move forward. And I'm just, just to kind of add on to that, Nicole, real quick, and I'm just really looking forward to getting students involved in the conversations, just giving them an opportunity to have their thoughts heard on these issues in society, because oftentimes we do a lot of training with faculty members and staff, but this is a chance to really get students involved, and I'm really excited to hear their voices as well on this topic. Nice. Um, just to add a little bit to what they've said, and I think they've said it all and very well. Um, I'm also excited to see what they have to say. The contest is not over until the second, so we have not actually gone in to start grading to see what they have submitted. But I know it's, um, like Doreen said, just to piggyback, it's not a, an easy conversation to have. It's actually very uncomfortable, but it needs to be heard. We have to have the conversations and having those type of conversation is going to move us forward and hopefully to a better place. So thank you for asking. <laughs> nice, well, um, thank you um, for joining us. I'm so glad that we could support this contest. I'm excited 
to go to the happy hour event and see um, the entries, to see who wins, to see all these interesting conversations. And from what what you're saying, it it's making me think, wow, I bet students are going to learn something they didn't expect to learn, maybe by putting themselves in those situations to have uncomfortable conversations or to kind of, uh, they, they it sounds like everyone will learn something different and new and expand their boundaries. So it sounds like a great thing. I can't wait to see the, the, the videos. Absolutely. It's been great. All right. And um, so we'll go ahead and sign off for now. Once again, we are going to post links to all the information. Um, but if you they're on the social sciences, if you Google to anybody, faculty, staff, students, if you Google Seminole State Social Science video contest, you will get to the page. Okay, so that's a really super easy way to do it. And if you have any questions, um, I think there's a contact email on that page. Um, so if you need to get in contact with somebody, also the library has 24 seven chat. Um, so we monitor it during the weekend. And if we see a question come in and if we can wedge in there and help someone out or get them to the information they need, we will definitely do that. Okay. And once again, the deadline is not until midnight on Monday. So I know a lot of students and people, and I'll include myself in that, I'm not a student, uh, do some of our best work under the wire. So, Hey, yeah, we got Monday, so um, looking forward to uh, people participating in that. Thank you again so much, and um, we will see you on the next one. Thanks. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you. Thanks so Bye, much. Bye, ladies. Bye, everyone. Bye.